There's a shocking new detail in today's bombshell news about Mike Bickle. As if the revelation that Bickle has preyed on young women starting in the early 80s is not enough, and that he had been in a secret long-term relationship with at least one of them, Jane Doe, now comes word that he may still be up to his old tricks. His predatory behavior started in 1983, the story goes, and here we are 40 years later, in 2023, and the word is Bickle has a new woman. On the Abuse Survivor News website of reporter Julie Royce, in today's article with the first interview of Jane Doe, they say in May 2023, Jane finally talked about the Bickle abuse for the first time, when she revealed it to her husband. A few days later, a friend of hers asked her a question out of the blue, did Mike ever do anything physical to you? Jane's reaction was, I literally started to cry and shake, and I just shared with her my story. That's when she said, there's a current woman. No further details were provided, and the woman currently in a relationship with Mike Bickle has not been identified. Some people have thought or said that, because Jane Doe was abused over 20 years ago, there's no point in bringing it up now. Even if Bickle had an affair, it was a long time ago. Move on. It is implied that it was an isolated incident, a moment of indiscretion, or a crime of passion, and he has long since done anything like that. But by today's report we are led to believe that Bickle, now 68, is in a new relationship with a young woman, presumably also in her 20s. In fact, the whole basis of Jane Doe stepping forward now is precisely because she believes Bickle is abusing another woman the same way he abused her. If she didn't believe this, she probably would have remained quiet as she has for over 20 years. She is standing up and stepping forward to protect women and stop anyone else from being abused by Mike Bickle. Predators typically have a method, and Bickle's method began with a pickup line. He told young women God had said his wife Diane would die and the young woman he wanted could become his wife. This was his way to relax a young single Christian woman's biblical concern about adultery. It sounds silly, and you don't think many would fall for it. Some did, but some didn't. The article recalls how one woman who heard it, spoke with the reporter. She confirmed that Bickle, when married and serving as a pastor in her church in Kansas City around 1983, had connected emotionally with her. She said she doesn't consider herself a victim of Bickle's. But she said Bickle communicated to her a prophecy that someday his wife Diane would die in an earthquake and then Bickle and this woman could be together. It's poignantly ironic that a minister whose entire ministry is based on a prophecy and an apocalyptic vision of the future, is collapsing because he repeatedly told a false prophecy with a false apocalyptic story to young women. Investigators were able to connect the dots when they discovered multiple women had heard the same cheesy pickup line. In some ways his scheming was very sophisticated, and he covered his tracks well for decades, but in this one small way, with this one small overlooked detail, for a very talented storyteller who always had the audience in the palm of his hand, it was tragically ridiculous.